back to code tonight so in today's video we will see how you can create your own nugget package and upload that on nugget.org so for that what we have to do is you have to create your package in the class library file so we have this class library project and here we have this class file and for just demo purposes i have added this class here and one uh, dummy method here for joining the string so here must be your code whatever you want to uh, create package for now once you have done that now you just have to um, rebuild the solution and you have to go to the package and go to properties and in the assembly information you have to uh, fill these fields uh, uh, which you see here so you can add the project title uh, nugget package title and description company and product whatever you want and you can also add the assembly version here and click on ok so now what you have to do is you have to go to the website nugget.org and here you have to go to downloads and from downloads you have to download the nugget package and you can download it by clicking here okay so once this package is downloaded what you have to do is you have to go to the uh, download folder and copy this nugget package and go to the C windows and paste your package here okay so uh, you see that we have this package over here okay so uh, one thing you have to do is you have to right click on the package and go to properties and there you will see a unblock checkbox over below the advanced somewhere there and you have to click on that and click on apply so that will unblock this package so we can see if we see that option here so like you have to right click go to properties and you see this unblock option here so you have to click on this option and click on apply so that will unblock your nugget.exe okay so now going back to the um, browser you have to log in with your nugget.org account okay and now we will go to the solution again so we will go to the location and here you have to open the cmd so now what you have to do is you have to type nugget spec and then you have to type the name of the cs project file okay so now you have to press enter and it will create one new file over here at the same location so you see it has created in string joiner dot spec file here okay so now right click on that and open it with uh, anything you can open it with the notepad or visual studio so we will open with the notepad so here you have to edit the authors and you can add your name there and you can remove this project url here and in the description you can add the description of your package okay so fair and so we can say just for joining strings okay so this is for demo only so now here you can add your tags whatever related to your um, package now we will just close this file so now we will go to command prompt again and here you have to type um, nugget and then you have to type the pack so this time it will create the package file for this um, nugget package whichever is your class library okay so you will see that it has created the nugget package file here and now this file you have to go to your uh, nugget.org account login with that and go to upload and in the upload you have to browse that file so you see the file version here you select that file and it will uh, upload the file so uh, because i have added this already so it is showing me error but for you it will work okay so uh, after that it will it will just show you the save option and then it will be 
taking uh, one hour to show this in the results uh, in your project so after like one hour or something you can go here and uh, check your project by typing this okay so uh, let us know if you face any kind of issue in that and if you require the uh, steps then what you can do is you can go to our official website cotonite.com and and there also you will find the blog create and publish a package using visual studio okay so you can open up that blog and and there uh, is all the steps that i just showed you in the video so you can check all the steps here and let us know if you face any kind of issue so thanks for watching guys